When making videos on my vintage Lenovo laptop, I ran into some serious speed issues. Between my job, my fascination with literally every topic under the sun, and my uncontrollable urge to keep 57 browser tabs open at once, my laptop was waving a white flag. Add some Microsoft Office wizardry to the mix, and I was basically asking it to perform like a race car on a tricycle's engine. Of course it could not. So, instead of forking out for a shiny new laptop, I decided to give my current one a little RAM upgrade. Naturally for me, the first step was to disassemble the laptop. Full video of me tearing my laptop apart is linked in the description. Once I unearthed the RAM slots, I did some digging to figure out what kind of RAM this machine would tolerate without throwing a tantrum. My Lenovo ThinkPad uses DDR4 RAM, and according to the official description, you can upgrade it to a whopping 64GB. The official recommendation is to add RAM modules of the same capacity for balance. 4 modules of 8GB, 4 modules of 16GB, or 2 modules of 32GB. You got it, right? Well, I ignored all of that. Because who needs rules when you've got whites? Besides, it's way more expensive and a waste of two 8GB modules. I bought two extra 16GB modules, slapped them in alongside the existing ones. You don't have to disassemble the whole laptop for that. And voila, I have now 48GB of mixed and matched memory. It works so far. Another official recommendation. RAM modules work at the speed of the slowest module. My original module were clocking in at 2400 MHz, but I bought 3200 MHz once anyway because, because I did. I've linked the RAM modules I used in the description. The upgrade worked wonders. My old laptop can handle a gazillion tabs, endless tasks, and everything I throw at it without taking a mental health break. It's not perfect, but it's like a new lease of life for my Lenovo. Feel free to comment below with all the things I did wrong because, let's be honest, I'm a total noob at this. But hey, it works. And that's what matters, right? Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching me tackling this upgrade. And don't forget to subscribe for more of Do It Yourself adventures. See you in the next video.